Young and Beautiful by Julia. I've seen the world, done it all, had my cake now. I am in brilliant and brilliant now. Had summer nights, bitch alive, when you and I were forever wild. Prologue. I met him when he sat next to me on the other end of the park bench. He kept a respectable distance, but he was... odd. He was wearing a patterned dark red sweater vest over a pressed button-up, not quite what younger men his age wore. I looked on curiously from the corner of my eye when he slipped an antique pocket watch from his trouser pockets. The man flipped the cover open, his eyes roving the face of the ticking mechanism as if he was genuinely checking out the time. It's 3.33, sir, I piped up unsure why I felt Sir was an appropriate way to address him, since his appearance was that of a man in his early twenties. He nodded in my direction, flipping the cover over his pocket watch. Ah, uh, it's about time then, he mumbled, before raising his up to mine. I cracked a smile out of courtesy, then looked away quickly. His eyes were piercing, assessing me. He was very odd. One out of five. I guess I should have listened to my gut feeling after all. This guy's more than odd. He's dangerous. After spending the past ten minutes sitting in silence, I was sure of maybe two things. This man liked to stare, and not just stare. I could see the gears working in his mind, his eyes following every micro-movement I made. Also, he looked younger than me, but he sure acted older. Sir... Er, Sehun, I corrected myself quickly, remembering the offended look he had given me when I kept referring to him as such. Yes, he replied, taking another sip of his tea. Which university do you attend? I folded my napkin in my lap, having been long done with my pastry. Sehun, on the other hand, was taking his sweet time. His movements were leisurely, as if he had all the time in the world. He took a few moments to nibble on his own pastry before setting it down on the fine porcelain plate on the table between us. What makes you think I'm attending university? Seun let out a low chuckle, sharing a private joke with himself, I suppose. I squirmed slightly in my seat, wondering internally again why I'd agreed to chat over tea with the stranger I had just met. Tell me about yourself first. I think you're more interesting than I am. He looked at his cup to his smiling lips, taking another leisurely sip, his eyes never once leaving mine. Well... I let my gaze slip slowly from his eyes to his chin, feeling uncomfortable with the prolonged contact. I'm a cashier at a supermarket. I coughed, embarrassed. What would this young man think of me? An unaccomplished woman come to kill time with younger men, I suppose. What's wrong, Ria? he asked, leaning forward with an outstretched hand towards my face. I flinched when he unexpectedly trailed a finger down the side of my cheek. I get red when I'm embarrassed. Most people do. I mumbled. There's no need to be embarrassed. For some, university is a luxury. I'm not judging you. This time, I find myself drawn to his eyes that I'd previously found calculating and cold. Now they seem warm and inviting. Come visit me at my school, Ria. I'd love to tour you around campus. You can have at least that much. When he smiled this time, his eyes smiled with his mouth, little crinkles at the corners. Yes, of course, I'd love to. I breathed. He patted the pocket watch in his trousers, content. Right on time. I looked up in awe at the archway above me, the university's emblem impressively carved out in the stone. The campus was amazing. Sehun must be filthy rich to be able to attend this place, I thought to myself. I hoisted my purse strap higher in my shoulder, feeling slightly intimidated with students smelling about their noses buried in pricey cell phones and tablets. Sayuna told me to look for the mural of a deer. He would meet me there. It's quite hard to miss, he had said, chuckling. I was tempted to ask someone where the deer mural was, seeing as I had been roaming around the massive school for a little over 30 minutes. It would have been easier if Sayuna had just given me his cell phone number, but he apparently didn't own one. I hadn't believed him at first, 
because what university student didn't have a phone? After a few more minutes of walking past murals that were not of deer, I was resigned to suck it up and just ask a student. I spotted a tall male student standing alone ahead of me, almost completely hidden from the sight of passerby had it not been for the distinct sheen of his jacket. I said to determine, let's do this, blowing a strand of hair out of my eye before heading towards him. Hopefully, the guy wouldn't be weirded out by a non-student asking for directions to a mural that may or may not even be relevant to the students. When I was close enough, I broke out into a cheerful, Hi, excuse me, I'm looking for... I took a few steps back in surprise, my stomach simultaneously sinking and churning. Sehun was in a passionate lip lock with a girl clad in a tight, body-hugging sweater dress, her hands firmly planted on his chest. I didn't know whether to interrupt him to let him know I was here, or to just walk away and give them some privacy like any other sane person would do. I was about to choose the latter and let them be when the girl let out an excruciating sob. Then she was nothing but a cloud of ash.